Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another session of Tomb Raider The Last Revelation. Now in the previous parts we went through a few areas on the final segment of the game. And of course in this we're going to be making some more progress and hoping to move ourselves even closer to the very final level. Though I have absolutely no idea when that's going to come around, this part seems like it could be quite lengthy overall. Now before we move on to the next area, which I believe is the Sphinx Complex, oh yes, it's right back at the beginning, the Sphinx Complex, we're going to go back a little bit because I have been given a painful tip about a level that I've finished that made me want to die inside a bit. Now I have been told in this room there is a hole that I can throw myself down. No, that's not what I was told, I just did that accidentally. Apparently, uh, you're gonna have to excuse me. I don't know what the fuck is going on outside, but it sounds like I've got like a child tribute band to Slipknot. Apparently, if we get the binoculars out here, and then we gaze up here, and we turn on the infrared, which I cannot remember for the life of me what button that was. Ah, yes, here. There's the solution of the combination that we need to press to open the doors. Seriously. Fuck this game. Fuck core design. Who would have figured that out? Has anyone ever, ever, like, figured this one out before, you know, attempting anything else? I don't, I don't think they have really, have they? I don't think it's possible. Right, so, yeah, we're back on the Sphinx Complex. Let's try and make some progress here, because I still have no idea what we're doing after editing up everything. What? We have so many items, you see, so... Yeah, thank you very much to Daniel Ramos for that. I hate you. I hate all of you. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. There's no need for this aggression, Alonzo. I tell myself every day. Right, so we have a door here. Maybe it's to open this? Didn't we get the guard's key ages back? Like, really, really long, a long time ago. Or did I imagine that? No, actually I think we got that at the pyramid level, didn't we? Not in this level. Okay, well, let's try entering, shall we? No harm in that. Might be a good idea to get a decent weapon out, though. What weapon should we go with? I'm curious about ammo. I think we have more ammo than we'll ever, ever need, as I've mentioned many times before. Uh, how, mu how much of the other ammo do we have? Oh my god, 249. Right, we're just going to town with that, I guess. Because, um, yeah. I don't think we're ever, 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 ever gonna run out of ammo. Ever. And what's, um... That's my magnum. It's five that's a grey gun, right? So, shotgun. Doggy? Dead doggy. Uh, could have been a friend. Could have been able to pet him. Could have, like, you know, been a companion of Laura's, but I don't think that's ever happening now. So what on earth are we... What are we in? What are we in? The mass master bass, the mastabus. I don't know. I I was worried I was just going to say the masturbate then, but you know, it's close enough. Right. So we got a few danger signs. It doesn't look like we can get through here. Though I can try shooting through. Okay. Lo and behold, that worked. Uh, and there's bats, which I am shooting with the shotgun. But, like I said, I don't think we're ever going to run out, so there's no need to worry about this anymore. We have two random crosses in the room. What's this about? And we have some lighting issues once again. Oh. What is this about? They're kind of lined up, aren't they? Yes, they are. Okay. Oh, there's some more over there as well, excuse me. I've really just started, I'm already falling asleep, apparently. Yeah, uh... I have absolutely no idea what that's about. I just want to apologise, like, for leaving gaps between these segments, because I did kind of want to marathon this. What am I aiming at? I'm aiming at the truck. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm aiming at this dog here. Oh, one shot from that. Bloody hell. Uh, yeah, I'm not... I was planning on not leaving any gaps and kind of marathoning a way through this. However, um, yeah, I've had to go ahead and do a bit of Dark Souls stuff. And it's kind of going to break up segments, but I hope you guys aren't too bothered by that, providing, you know, you get your Tomb Raider fix at the end. It's coming. Don't worry. It's going to all come out in time, you know. We're going to hopefully finish this game very, very soon. 
Okay, can't get that door open. I picked up a jerry can. What's the jerry can for? No idea. Maybe it's to fill up this car. Like I said, I have so many key items, it's ridiculous. What the fuck am I supposed to do with all these bastarding things? There's so much. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay, so we've got a door here. It doesn't look like we can get over there. Though we might be able to. No, definitely not. So I think we've got to go through this door. Don't think there's anything back there that we've missed. And there's one on the floor. Which, you know... <gasps> best design choice ever by core design, really, right? Uh, at least that one's noticeable. Like, you know, the, the little latch thing is. Whoops. God damn, why are they giving me dogs at the end of the fucking game? Like, I was expecting huge enemies, but no. Just dogs. I'm pretty sure I could deal with something bigger. Pretty sure. Hmm. No. Okay, we gotta root up this way. I'm guessing these are all leading underground. And leading to, um... Like, you know, different areas that we can probably get to. Yeah. That certainly looks to be the case, doesn't it? On the overground. Bats and scorpions. Okay. Yeah. This game really doesn't want to pit me against something too tough. Is it really worried that I've, like, lost so much health at this stage or something? So we're now behind, um, like, the the crater that we couldn't get across the first one. However, it doesn't look like we can do much here either. Can we? I mean, actually, it looks like we could jump across there quite easily. However, we did miss a route down there, didn't we? I nearly ran off the edge then. Just planning on holding forward. Right, this way, yeah. Okay. So where's this lead to? Two doggies. God, it just upped the difficulty a bit. I'm scared now. Right, so this is a little underground segment. You know I'm just going to be checking everything with the bloody binoculars now because I'm worried, like, I'm going to miss something. So we just picked up some arrows of some variety. Uh, we got... What are those? I can't really tell. Something from the canine or feline family staring down at us. Oh, there's a small medicate over there. Let's grab that. I think it's, um... What have we seen in this game so far? I think it's like a jackal or something, maybe. Can't tell, though. And it looks like this door can be opened at some point. But what on earth can we do with these? Can we do anything at all? We can phase through them, that's great. Though I'm not seeing much else we can do. What happens if we stand in the middle of the room? Nothing, it seems. Can we shoot them? Oh, can we shoot them with the, um, the crossbow? Because we just got some crossbow ammo, maybe that's a hint that maybe we can, you know... I'm just going to shoot everything with the explosive ammo, of course. Ah, we can, yes. Right, so... Let's blow all these up. And now that door opens and reveals two mummies, which I've blown to pieces. Uh, what on earth is this? It looks like a huge dead mouse. It's not. What is it? It's a small water skin and it's empty. Can I like combine that with the jerry can or something? And fill it with fuel? Obviously not. Right, so we can either dive across to there. Which I don't think is going to be beneficial in the slightest, but let's try that first actually. Or we could dive across to the right hand side. Okay. So, um, yeah. What, what's, what's useful about this? I don't see anything at all. Oh, that's a slope. I wasn't expecting that, if I'm being honest. What the? I just teleported round the corner. That's some good programming right there. Okay, so instead, let's dive across this way. I'm really sorry if I'm complaining a bit much, by the way. It's like, um... I don't know, I expected this to be a huge step up in difficulty, like the ending of the other games, and it doesn't feel like it at all. I mean, the previous level was alright, but... This is kind of a bit... Eh. It's just throwing a load of enemies at me, like a lot of crappy enemies. Nothing really majorly challenging at all. 
and like these puzzles are pretty straightforward overall. You just blow up the things, you know. Uh, all right, so another underground tunnel. Can loop to the right first, maybe. More dogs. More bats. Or a bat. And another room like this. What? They kind of feel like they're getting a bit lazy, you know. Okay, so let's blow these up again. Oh, that one's already got his mouth closed. Okay, the other ones have as well. Maybe, um... What? Another one of these. Uh, maybe you just have to shoot the right one. Maybe you don't have to shoot all of them. Uh, so that was... That was a bag of sand. Okay. Maybe the real puzzle is coming up. I don't know, maybe this is just, you know... Leading up to it. So I think, uh, yeah, we've already been back that way, haven't we? So let's just keep going this way. Uh, let's go to the left. And, oh, okay, this is getting a little bit... Okay, okay, actually it's just a dead end with a few items in. I was expecting it to be a bit of a maze, but it doesn't look like it is. Uh, now I do realise I'm rushing here, you know, I'm not really looking for secrets or anything. I do apologise for that as well, like I don't feel like I'm being as, as observative as normal. Is that even a word? Observative? Fucking hell. Uh... Yeah, I've been back this way, sorry. So it's just straight ahead, isn't it? Yeah, eventually I'm going to run around a corner and something friendly is going to be there. I'm going to shoot it right dead, aren't I? Now oh, fuck you, bats. Did that deal with them? I hope it did. So what's with the crosses on the walls? I don't get that. Let's kick down this door. Or not. Actually, Laura's been civilized for once. Amazing. Right. Okay, so now we're on the other side of another ditch, but I'm not sure where anymore. I'm assuming, uh, yeah, the one that we tried to get over to before, or I thought maybe we could get around to. So now, uh, maybe jump over that way? Looks like that should be what we have to do. Yep. And now over to there, maybe? I can't see anywhere else we can jump over to. No, most definitely over there. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a hard angle, though. I think maybe we can jump it like this. Yeah, that seems about right. Okay, and we got another area. And a scorpion that just appeared out of absolutely fuck all nowhere. So let's pop this open. And we got another ditch. Okay, I've not... Despite the huge number of enemies there's been so far, I've not lost any health at all. Oh, I've lost a tiny, tiny bit by the looks of it, but yeah. God, they are just appearing out of nowhere. Oh no, not three dogs. I feel highly threatened by this. I don't know if I can handle this. Two bats? Oh no. Right, okay, so we got another one of these rooms. And we'll just start blowing these up. There we go. Okay, what's this all about now? Ah! It is the puzzle, I'm guessing. Hmm. Are these scales or something? I'm gonna hazard a guess they are. I should really save. Because we've made quite a bit of progress here. So what other... What other rooms do we have, aside from this one? Because, um, there was a way to go back there. You know, I feel like we should check that out first, because I'm guessing this might be the end of the level. But I think we have all the items we need, don't we? I mean, like, what have, what have we picked up? We picked up the... The water skin. Um... The bag of sand and the jerry can. So maybe you have to fill up the water... Uh, sorry, the jerry can and the water skin with water. To make them weigh something, and then put them on the scales. Or at least I'm assuming that's the case, but I guess we'll find out in due time. What's this? 
And this is a torch, okay. What do we need the torch for, do you reckon? I didn't see anything that needed lighting up, really, so... But it's gotta be for something down here, right? Can I set fire to this? No. It's just noticing it has, like, a sun on it. Well, I'll drop you for now. Uh, and I'll start putting things in these, if I can. Maybe it's on the other side, actually. It's got, a uh, water, sun, and sand, maybe? I think maybe we've got to put the sand on there. On you go. Uh, oh, it's different elements, isn't it? It's different elements, that's what it is. This reminds me of the fifth element, actually. I bet this is where they got the inspiration from. So, fill the water skin full of water, maybe, and then pour a bit of water on. No. No? Come on, Laura. Oh, there we go. Just got to be standing right in the middle. Pop that on here. There we go. And then finally, finally, if I... I hope I've got something in the jerry can, but it's very unclear if that is the case or not. It seems like that's the case. Yes. And now I just need the torch and I need to ignite that, don't I? And that's it. That's the puzzle done. Pretty straightforward, really, isn't it? Okay. Now what? Oh, okay. A little bit worried there, because it didn't look like that was opening. It has, though. Hmm. Oh, hi. Um... Where are you? Problem solved. Okay, uh... Now. What we gotta do... Gotta grab this, probably, but... Uh. Oh, it's open there. Okay, thank you. That was pretty straightforward, really, wasn't it? Uh, did that show the other side of it, or am I going completely blind and have no haven't noticed that there was, like, two items either side? No, it looks like there wasn't. No, they're here, they're here. Uh. Yeah, I'm not going mad. So I'll grab those. And now, um, I notice these guys have, uh, things in their mouths. I may as well blow them up, because I've done it with everything else, haven't I? So, I could be, like, fucking myself over for all I know, though. Oh. He's close to by the looks of it. Right, that's actually done nothing. I don't know what I was supposed to be doing with that. Uh... Let's keep moving anyway. Hopefully, we've done everything we need to do already. We got two routes again, though, by the looks of it. What's this? Is this a dead end? Or is the other one a dead end, maybe? That one appears to lead up. This one also leads up, but leads up to a large medikit. Okay, so that's your dead end. The other one is where we gotta go. Oh, hi there. You see, that's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta do, core design. You gotta set it up when I put my gun away. When I'm not expecting it. When I'm picking up an item. Be a bastard. You know, you're just kind of throwing them in my face, pretty much. Oh no, more scorpions. Where's this other one? Oh, maybe it's just the one. Right. Yep, no, there's one here somewhere. There he is. Is that it? Uh, where are we? I feel like we've been here, have we? Or or am I imagining that? I don't know, I could be going crazy. Okay. Well, we'll jump across here anyway. Hmm, doesn't seem to be anything. Now what? I mean, we can dive across there, I think. Yeah, it seems like a flat surface, doesn't it? So, I'm guessing we can jump across. Right. And there's a gap here. Ah, we haven't been here. That's surprising. I thought we've pretty much been everywhere. I don't know, I'm kind of losing track of this level and just following it around, I guess. Uh, now is that a secret, do you reckon? It could well be. But I don't know if we can get there or not. Hmm. 
It kind of looks like we might be able to, but at the same time, maybe not. It seems a bit like an angled jump overall. Let's save the game and give it a go. Because I get the feeling like this might be our secret we've been looking for. Oh, yep, that works. Right, uh... So now I just need to back up a little bit, turn, and then jump sideways. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if that or we've accidentally skipped a segment. Oh, we could have skipped a segment. I don't know, let's check inside the house first. Whoop. Hmm. Yeah, getting a little bit worried now. I could try going back this way. That might reveal if we have skipped a segment, you know. On the other hand, we could get trapped down here, couldn't we? Where are you? I hear you. I don't see you, though. What? There's a scorpion behind us. Yeah, everything's spawning behind us because we've come in the wrong way, haven't we? Oh, God. Yeah, let's reload the game there because I think everything's just going to continue spawning behind us. It's not going to be too good for the game, really, is it? Right. Oh. No. Stay dead. Thank you. So, pop this open, if I can. Thank you very much. Now go down here. And now... Where's that scorpion? Oh, on the floor, down there. There is another one somewhere. Yeah, this looks exactly like the place that we were going to come into. Whoop, shit. Oh, crap. Well, at least these ones don't poison you like the huge ones do, by the looks of it. Okay. So, magnum bullets. And then we can go up here, which I think is the exit out of here. Yeah, because there's our scorpion friend. But what's with the dog that was howling before? Hmm. There he is. Okay, yeah, he must have spawned when we went down. Okay, right, so yeah, I did skip a segment. Funny how you can do that. I'm cool as I normally put things very much out of reach, you know. But not that time by the looks of it. Alright, let's get rid of our bat friends and then we'll go down this way instead. I don't know, I'm kind of enjoying this now. I'm kind of getting into it, I guess. It's very kind of fluid, very straightforward, but I don't know. Maybe I need that kind of break after doing the fucking... Um, under the pyramid shit, you know. Is it under the pyramid? Yeah, yeah, the second level that I did. My god, that really fucked me over. I'm sorry if I sound a bit funny, by the way, because my, um... I haven't mentioned during this Let's Play at all, but my lip has been numb for ages now. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. You know what would prove a challenge? Leaving all these alive. Wouldn't that be fun? You know, just having them diving around and following me through this entire level. Whoops. Oh, that one's dead as well. Okay. Now what? Hmm. What are they? Oh, it's, um... It's see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, isn't it? Or is it hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil? I don't know. Um, have you got to do it in the right order, is that it? What sounds right? Hear no evil, speak no evil. See no evil, hear no evil. Speak no evil, see no hear Okay, I'm going to go backwards, I think that's right. Oh, we don't need to actually physically equip it, do we? So... Okay, let's save the game first, just in case anything goes wrong when no. you do it. It won't let me? What? No. Okay. So can I just not do these unless Laura says I can? Put that away. That might help. Okay. I didn't want to do this one first. What? 
Oh, crap. It's the monkey from the first game. He wants vengeance after I fucking murdered him, I guess. Right, um... Let's just go for the next one. Whoops, or not. What am I supposed to do? He's just fucking attacking me while I'm doing all this. Go away. God damn. I knew I shouldn't have killed that fucking monkey. I knew it would come back to bite me. So... What am I supposed to do now? Can I pull it back? Is that what I'm going to do? I think that is probably, isn't it? But this bastard's not going to let me do that, is he? You know what, buddy? Oh, I can kill him. Oh god, he blows up, though. Into a supernova. Amazing. Right, let me try and do it the way I said I wanted to do it, because I think that is the right way. And I think the game just made me think that I couldn't do it any other way. Right. Well, that seems to have done the trick. So, next one. Oh, wait. What? There's a random monkey behind it now. Whoa. What are you doing? Oh, he's opened the door for me. Okay. Am I supposed to go in there? Can't tell. Well, it's not like I can do much else, is it? At least I don't think so. Yeah, can't seem to yank this one. Alright then, let's just go in it. Hopefully. Oh, okay, whatever. Well, I can blow you up, no issue. Oh, there's another behind me. Oh, I've already blown him up, what do you know? Did that ever... oh. <laughs> that took a while for some reason. Bizarre. Right, okay, um, let's get the crossbow out and blow these up. Oh! That one's already blown up. Well, let's blow that one up. Okay, grab this. Pop. Thank you very much. And it's opened that door already. W what about the other monkey, then? I don't get that. Did I, like, miss out on a secret, maybe, because I did it in the wrong order? Is that what it is? Can I blow you up as well? No. <laughs> Would have been funny if I could have, but, you know, maybe not at the same time. Right, so we got more of these, um, thingy heads, whatever they are. I'm going all the way through my inventory just to get one thing, aren't I? Like, I'll go all the way through it backwards. Right, so blow these up. And then up here. I don't know if there's any benefits of blowing all these things up. I don't even know if I need to use explosive ammo, I just am. I mean, I've got plenty of it, haven't I? So, not really an issue. Okay, up this way. Don't think there's anything above me that I'm missing out on. I'll take a quick turn around and have a look. No, nope, don't look like it. Whoops. Though I did just throw myself down there. I didn't mean to do that. Right. Oh, okay. Are we through this already? The Great Pyramid. Okay. What's so great about it? Uh, it's one of the ancient wonders of the world, isn't it? But, yeah, aside from that, uh, it better be great in design, you know. Okay. Nothing in here, that's a surprise. There's a few, like, silhouette medikits, though. Well, medikits and something else over here. Some shells or something. Yeah, yeah. And Laura's becoming one as well. Okay. Well, it's one of these guys. Oh, no. And then one over there as well. Can I shoot him? I mean, he's right in front of you, Laura. I'm sure you can see him from there. No, apparently you can't. Whatever, doesn't matter. Just let him wander around over there. It'll be fine. Just dive around this corner. Oh, now you can see him, though. Oh, hi. Yeah, I've got two of those. And I like to continuously fire, which you seem to be allergic to. Let's kick down this door. It doesn't seem to have broken away from um, the design that it was before, you know. Oh god, it's throwing every enemy in the game that previously was in it. Pretty much, anyway. Yeah, it really is, isn't it? Okay, uh, let's have a look around the corner, but I don't think there's anything there. No, no, no. Okay, let's keep moving this way. Come on, where's your pyramid at? I want to see it. Well, hi there. You're right. 
sorry to interrupt. So, Von Croy's men are around. What's going on? Is Von Croy back now, or what? <gasps> Open up this. And there's also a door over here. Politely open it. No, um. Oh. Oh, wait, is it. Have we already been on the Great Pyramid? Like, have we already been on it? As a level before, or did I imagine that? I'm just not sure, really. Like, because that looks like the pyramid that we were on before, but I don't think it is. I could have a look through my save list, couldn't I? Uh, we've got a lot of places we can go here. It's so, like some of the underground segments, we can go down there. We could probably go over this way. Yeah, this is the Great Pyramid, holy fuck. Okay, um, yeah, that's a lot bigger than the one before. They made this to scale. Because <laughs> fucking hell. That is huge. 